Welcome to your weekly dose of the ultimate sales machine. I am your host, Amanda Holmes, CEO of Chi. The next few episodes are a series of conversations we had during the Q&A of our challenge. Real live questions from business owners and executives just like you on how to get up to nine times more clients in the door so you can double your sales. You still have the opportunity to get your ticket of the Ultimate Sales Machine Bootcamp to help you redefine that stadium pitch, build out your Dream 100 campaign, and set in place the momentum to be able to double your sales over the next 12 months. Visit USM, like Ultimate Sales Machine, dot chetholmes.com forward slash bootcamp. That's USM dot chetholmes dot com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, here's the episode. Okay. Did you know that there are 67 million people in England? Did you know that there are 65 million people in France? That's 132 million people in two countries. So what? So what have just 14 people done? What have just 14 people done in the last 50 years? According to Google, in both France and England, only 14 people that we've managed to find on the planet have managed to do this. By contrast, these are the number of people going up Mount Everest on a single day. I don't know, can you see that? So this is not just one in a million, this is 14 people out of 132 million. So how can you become one in a million? Forget one in a million, how about one in 10 million? Would you like a true story? An ordinary man doing extraordinary things. This man windsurfed to France. My last crossing was one hour and 10 minutes to windsurf to France. The cross channel ferry takes an hour and a half. My dream, my goal is to smash a world record and be the first person on the planet to do this in under an hour. It's a true story of goal setting, adventure, fun. So many people have so much money and so little fun. Why not take an exciting adventure with me and learn how you too can set goals and achieve those goals and make your life so much fun that you can't stop smiling. Thank you. All right. Round of applause, round of applause. Okay, who wants to give feedback on that? Steven, you were very focused. I'll go first. Okay. So I didn't, eh, I wasn't clear on what exactly you were trying to communicate with. The pain and the challenge, I wasn't sure what you were trying to connect with in terms of, like when you start with, did you know that there is so many millions of people in the, these two countries? I think you could have, maybe open that with, did you know about this challenge or issue? Or are you starting experiencing this type of frustration? Or do you want this certain thing just to grab my attention? And then just these guys were saying earlier to me and other people, just go poke the pain or the want and then go through what you, and then I guess that one in a million or one in a 10 million thing. That's my two cents. Thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't hear what the pain was that, that, that you were addressing, Cole. Uh, I heard what the count of pleasure is, but I didn't hear what the pain people are suffering is, which I'm assuming they're miserable or something like that. But I, I agree with you. There's no pain in there because it's not really what I've done in the past. I've uh, always focused on the good things in life. So what is that good thing that you're going after? What it is, I'm looking at getting into public speaking because it's something I really enjoy doing. I've done a fair bit of it historically, and I want to do this on my windsurfing the English Channel from France to England. I don't know. What's and, a good thing uh, for the listener? What's a good thing that you're promoting? What am I supposed to experience that would appeal to me? Good question. It's about goal setting, achieving your dreams, and doing stuff that you've never done before. And instead of having a work-life balance where you're finding a lot of people working maybe 80 hours a week and they may be worth millions, but they're going to be the richest person in the graveyard. So there's the pain. You get these people to climb Everest? Is that what you do? I know. 800 people a year climb Mount Everest. I, I'm a windsurfer, so I windsurf to France or I'm windsurfing from France to England. So if you're talking to the people on the crowds, so this is very common when people want to start doing a stadium pitch, 
Yeah. It then becomes about them, which that majority of that was telling your story and talking about you until the very I understand. Well, so that's why I asked for help. Yeah, 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 this is great. So what percentage of people are experiencing depression in your life? Are you experiencing depression in your life? Do you feel that you're stuck? Do you feel like you can't get out of the normal rut? You're not alone because X percentage do. And it's actually up by X percent over the last 20 years. So what's keeping us stuck in our perpetual life where we end up, what did you say? The richest man in the graveyard and you're not living that life of balance. I'd love to teach you the three biggest mistakes that people will make keeping in their own way of living the life that they want. And the reason why I can give you that is because out of the 156 million people, I did something that none of them have. But if you get with me, I'll show you what that is and I'll show you how I did it. I wouldn't give them the kitty with the, I wouldn't give it all away. I would just say, I've been one of the very few. I like how you positioned that, but we have to talk to them first. Does that make sense? Uh, that was fabulous. But can I ask a question on that? hundred so percent agree yes, with yeah. these fabulous stadium pictures. They're brilliant. Stacey yesterday, Jeremy today. If you're looking at let's say in my case, a brand new market okay. and your uh, target market is, let's say, trying to get CMO. booked as a speaker on seminars, platforms. These people have been running them for years. They think they know everything. If you go and say, can I tell you the five biggest mistakes seminar organizers or convention people make when they book a speaker, it could almost put their back up as a little bit patronizing. Who are you, Johnny Lunchbucket? And what do you think you know, Jack and Jill? I've been doing this for ages. We've been running this company for 50 years, 100 years. We have 10, 15, 20,000 people at every stadium or every convention every year. So could I get your views, Amanda? Because I know you're pitching to convention seminars. You said you'd been on a platform with Obama and various other people. You said some people were paying 100, 160,000 to get on the platform because their message was weak and you'd managed it on skill, talent to be earned ability. So if you could share something, that'd be incredibly helpful. Thank you. That's part of the balance is how can we educate them and give them value without making them feel like you're making me to feel the fool, right? Troy experienced it and it's just practice, right? To see what is landing and what isn't. I can't tell you that title will work or why don't you try this one instead? We'll only be able to test and know. Uh, Troy, his first stadium pitch out the gate was, right? The five reasons that farmers, what was it? Five it was the five top reasons why your farm will fail in 2022. And, and that felt was aggressive for those too aggressive in Canada. So he had to change to why they could be losing money. You walk a fine line, but being observant and knowing that you are creating this for the person on the other side, so watch their responses. And when I was working on chapter 13 of the Ultimate Sales Machine, the new edition, I tested in the field for four years writing chapter 13. And I would just perpetually say, this is what this chapter is about. And I would watch people's faces and see how they react. It's about service. And they go, oh, that's great. It's about gratitude. Oh, that's great. It's about the intention. Okay, that's nice. And I finally got to a place where I said, I found a letter that my father wrote where he said he wrote, where he said he generated more wealth in the last six months than the prior eight years combined. And I took that one thing and I put it into that final chapter on the encore he never got to give on how to live a rich and full life. Sorry, if we're looking at emails where sadly in this world, it's now largely about emails. I agree hundred percent. My background's always been pick up the telephone, dial somebody's mobile, world-class referral, and uh, you can effectively gauge what's happening straight away because you can listen to them. If it's a bad time to call, you ask for time to call back. That's good. And basically, kaboom, everything works. On an email, you send an email, you half the time, you don't know if it's either got there, if it's gone to spam, if it's gone to junk, if they've read it, if they deleted it, or they just never saw it. And even when I've been on the phone to people I've known for a number of years, they go, no, I haven't got the email. And they're like, let me send you a test email. You write test email from Toll. And they go, yep, I got that. And then they start looking Outlook. Then they look in other. Then they look in spam. Then they look in junk. And suddenly they oh, I've just found it. And had you not been on the telephone 
for five minutes getting them to look for it, they'd never have seen it. If they then forward it to somebody else, it goes into their spam junk and you're almost like winking in the dark. You know you're doing it, but nobody else knows. <laughs> Yeah. So there's one thing about email deliverability and you should always test your email deliverability because that that's a whole lot of technical things that I'm not an expert in. But what I do know is when you deploy a true Dream 100, if you have just a few that you're focusing on, so let's say that you're trying to get on 20 stages and you know who yep. those 20 people are in each one of those conferences, or you found one person that does lots of conferences. So that is that dream person for you. Then you don't just reach out on email, you're doing email and cold calling and you're reaching out to them on LinkedIn and you're reaching out to them on uh, their Facebook and you happen to send something in the mail, right? You can pick which mediums, but if you're doing multiple mediums, then it is the ob observation that you are everywhere and you wanna create that experience that you're everywhere. Otherwise I would just Google increasing email deliverability. Okay, Michael asked, in giving the market data, should you state the source to have credibility? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's That adds so much more to say. So I started this bold challenge by saying, Bank of America did a survey of small businesses in 2023. So we know that we're relevant and we know that it's a reputable source. And it says that 50% of companies are pulling back on their growth strategies because of high interest rates. So I can't just say, hey, are you pulling back on what you're doing to grow because of possible recession problems? We even saw it with the data when we did a poll because I was curious where you guys at and 40% of you said, yeah, I'm worried about a recession and the other 60 said, no, I don't think so. Uh, so I have data to prove that actually 76% according to Bank of America is worried about it. So it does help. But I would know when to use it and not, because if you're using sources for every piece of market data and you're stacking three pieces of market data, it starts to get a little bit exhaustive. So you have to know the context of where you're speaking in the data and in what, uh, you know, like I'm saying, if you're doing three pieces, you don't want to give three sources, just what's most important. That's a good question. Can I ask you about websites? Your website is very good in terms of it's getting people to enter their name, email address, not quite date of birth and inside leg measurement, but do you have either available or anywhere that is easy to get a relatively basic website, don't want to spend millions of dollars on it, and really what you're looking to do is get people to enter a name and address for email address, mobile phone number, and also that you could host a couple of videos on there so people could click on a little video you've done. And it's, if you like, just, it's not designed to make sales. It's not designed to do much, fill your diary. It's more resource and building a database. Jerry, you want to speak to that? You're up on the... Yeah, the simplest way to go, Toll, is press, is the de facto right. state, yeah, is the de facto backbone of the internet. If you look at most of the websites on the internet, I think it's something like 60 some percent are all built on WordPress because it's open source. It's a free platform. And then you can go to platforms like Upwork and hire a freelancer from around the world and get your website stood up for any, depending on how far you want to take it from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars, but you don't have to spend a gazillion dollars to do that. Thank you. And getting these name and address gathering things, WordPress does that, does it? There's, yeah, there's plugins to the core modules that allow you to do that. And you can either suck them into an email that gets emailed to you toll, or you can actually put it onto a place where it's going into your CRM if you want to connect it to a CRM like HubSpot or Keep or Active Campaign, customer relationship management tool. So it keeps track of everything from the names, the telephone numbers, the activities, depending on how complex that you want to get. Another live clip from our virtual event. Now is your opportunity to join the Ultimate Sales Machine Bootcamp. And it's almost up. We're nearly there. So make sure that you visit USM dot chetholmes.com forward slash bootcamp. 
That's USM, like ultimate sales machine, usm.chetholmes.com forward slash bootcamp to secure your seat. Question, would you like to get up to nine times more clients from the same moves you're already making? Would you like to understand a step-by-step process that has assisted a quarter million businesses to grow? Would you like to see how that proven timeless process gets adapted when AI is involved? Have you tried to deploy a Dream 100 and you missed the momentum or never quite reached the potential you knew you could? Now is your chance to make that change. The trajectory of your life can be altered and has been altered by those that have come to this boot camp. Somebody that buys a course, only 3% of them actually finish. That's really pathetic. That's not even tracking actual results, it's just attendance. So for our boot camp, 42% of our past attendees have generated leads within 30 days learning what they learned. So if you need more leads, this is the place to be. And 30% of them have generated more sales within the first 30 days using what they learned. It is a jump start. It's only one hour a week if you want. And then there's an additional 30 minutes open for Q&A and practice. So everything that you're building and you're creating, you can test with the group and get live feedback. I would love to see you there. usm.chetholmes.com forward slash bootcamp.